Welcome to week 13, chapter 12, Knowledge Systems, Expert Systems, Recommendators, Chat Box, Virtual Personal Assistants, and Robo Advisors. Describe recommendation systems, describe expert systems, describe chat boxes, understand drivers and capabilities of chat box, describe virtual personal assistants. Let's start with our vignette. Our vignettes in four, you might have heard of them. They sell, uh, it's a French company. They sell cosmetics. Uh, they do business globally. Uh, has some of its own stores along with selling in department stores. In addition, sells online through Amazon and its online stores. Company sells hundreds of brands, including many of its own. It operates in a very competitive market. Her sells some products for men, but mostly beauty. So, so for first used chat box occurred during messaging service. The purpose of the first bot was to search for information for the company's resources, such as videos, images, tips, and so on. This bot operated in question and answer mode. It recommended relevant content based on customers' interest. Sephora researchers found that customers conversing with Kitbot were engaged deeply in the dialogue. Then the bot encouraged them to explore a new product. Sophia's newer bot called Reservation Assistant was placed on Facebook Messenger and enables customers to book or reschedule makeover appointments. Another Sophia bot delivered Kick is shade matching. It matches lips, colors, and photos and lips uploaded by users and recommends the best match to them. Bot also set lets users try on photos, recommendation colors, and so on. The company customers love the bots. In addition, Sophia learned the importance of providing assistance and gu guidance to users who are motivated to return. Sophia bots ask users questions to find their taste and preference, then likes recommendations. Finally, the company has improved the bot's knowledge over time and plans newer bots for additional tasks. So as we can see, this is a good case of where they were able to use the bots to change your system. Expert systems and recommenders. Uh, expert system is a category of autonomous decision systems and are considered the earliest applications of AI. Expert systems use started in research institutions in the early 1960s. It was adopted commercially in the 1980s. The basic concept of an expert system following our major technology definitions. There are several def definitions of an expert system. Our working definition is that an expert system is a computer-based system that emulates decision-making and or problem solvings of human experts. These decisions and problems are in complex areas that require expertise to solve. The basic objective is to enable non-experts to make decisions and solve problems that usually require an expert. These activities is usually perform narrowly defined domains. An expert is a person who has specific knowledge, judgments, or experience and skills to provide sound advice and solve complex problems in narrowly defined areas. It is an expert job to provide the knowledge about how to perform a task so that non-experts will be able to do the same task assisted by, by expert systems. An expert knows which facts are important and understands 
and explains the dependent relationship among those facts. There is no standard definition of an expert, but decision performance and the level of knowledge of the person is typically criteria used to determine the practice. An expert at one time or in another rigid medical student can be an expert compared to a general public but not making the diagnosis on a surgery typical human experts recognize and formulate in a problem, solving a problem quickly and correctly, explaining a solution, learning from experience, restructuring knowledge, breaking rules. Can machines, can a machine help a non-expert perform? Expertise is the extensive task knowledge that experts possess. The level of expertise determines the success of the decision made by an expert. Expertise is often acquired through training, learning, and experience in practice. It includes explicit knowledge such as theories learned from textbooks or classroom of implicit knowledge gained from experience. Theories about domains, rules and procedures, heuristic about what to do in a given problem, global strategies, facts about the problem. Experts often include these characteristics. It is usually associated with a high degree of intelligence, but not always. It's usually associated with vast quantities of knowledge. It's based on that characteristics of the and benefits of an expert system. We're used during the 1980s and 2010 by hundreds of companies worldwide. However, since 2011, their use has declined rapidly, mostly due to the emergence of better knowledge systems. These three types of which described in this chapter. It's important, however, to understand the major characteristic and benefits of an expert system since many of them involve evidence, newer knowledge systems. The major objective of an expert system is the transfer of experts to the machine. The experts will use not used by non-experts. For an example, is a diagnosis. For many, we can use self-diagnosis to find the correct problem in our computer, even that computers can find the correct problems by themselves. Benefits of an expert system. Perform routine tasks, reduce the cost of operations, improve consistency and quality, speed up the decision making, may motivate employees to increase productivity, preserve scarce expert of retiring employees, help transfer and reuse knowledge, reduce employee training costs, solve complex problems, see things that even an expert can't see. Typical areas used by for following expert system finance allows the analysis of investment, credit, and financial reports, data processing, expert system, system planning, equipment, marketing, customer service management, human resources. Uh, Performing evaluation, staff scheduling, manufacturing, complex product configuration, quality management, product design, homeland security, threat of a thing, of attacks, process, business process automation, uh, healthcare management, regulatory and compliance things, website designs. Expert systems process knowledge extraction and divide it up in distinct areas. Refer to the de development environment and consultation environment. A non-expert we use as a consultant environment. Major components: knowledge acquisition. Most human experts, it's usual to obtain knowledge 
engineers, the knowledge which they derive from several sources. Knowledge base is the knowledge repository. The knowledge is divided into knowledge about the domain and the knowledge of the, about the problem-solving solution. Knowledge representation is the frequent organized as business rules. Inference engine, also known as the control structure or rule interpreter. This is the brain. It provides the reasoning capabilities, namely the ability to answer questions. User interface, the component that allows users interface engines, the major components of the use, solutions in many areas. Remember that these areas need to be well instructed in fairly narrow domains. Recommendation systems. Heavily used knowledge systems recommend one-to-one -one targeting products or services, also known as recommender systems. Such a system tries to predict the importance that the user will attach to a product or service. Recommendation systems are very common and used in many areas. Top applications include movies, music, and books. However, there are other recommendations such as for travel, insurance, and online dating. Recommendations are typically given in rank order, online recommendations. Some benefits, personalization, discovery, customer satisfaction, reports, increased dialogue, higher conversion rate, increased cross-selling, increased customer loyalty, enable customization. Concept drivers and chat box. The world is now infested with chat bots. 60% of millennials have already used chat box. 53% of those who have not used them are interested in doing so. Millennials are not the only generation using chat box, although they might. What is a chat box? Bot or Robo, it's a computerized service that enables easy conversation between humans and human-like computerized robots, images, characters, sometimes over the internet. These conversations can be in written, in writing, and more in voice images. The conversation, conversation frequently involves short questions and answers and are executed in a natural language. More intelligent chatbots use the natural language process so computers can understand unstructured dialogue. Interactions also can be taking or uploading images. Some companies exper experiment with learning chatbots, which gain more knowledge with their accumulation. Chats, chatbot evolution originated decades ago. They were simple ES that enabled machines to answer questions posted by users. The first known was ELSA. Similar machines were developed and worked. The machine elevated each question, usually to be found in a bank of frequently asked questions, and generated an answer and matched to the question. Obviously, if the question wasn't in the frequently asked end, the machine provided irrelevant answers. In addition, because the power of the natural language understood was limited, some questions were misunderstood and answers were at best entertaining. Therefore, mess companies opted to use live chat. Types of bots, regular bots, these are essentially con conversational intelligent agents. Chat bots, in a category which include more capable bots, for example, those can simulate conversation, and intelligent bots. These have the knowledge base. The major limitation of the older bots was that updating their knowledge base was both slow and expensive. <coughs> they were developed for specific narrow domains. Drivers of chatbots. Developers are creating powerful tools to build chatbots quickly and inexpensively with useful functions. 
The quality of the chatbot is improving, so conversations are getting more useful to users. The demands of chatbots are growing due to their potential cost and reduction. Use of chatbots allow rapid growth. Use chatbot components, a person, a computer or avatar or robot, a knowledge base can that enable the machine, a human computer interface, person-machine interaction. As you can see here, here's the message, the voice, and everything, and here's the chat box trying to, but it all comes out of this. Person on the left needs to find some information. The person asks the related question. The natural language process translates the question into machine language. The chat box transfers the question to the cloud. The cloud contains the knowledge base, which the response is then rendered from. What's the purpose or benefits? They need to cut costs, increase capabilities of AI, the ability to converse in different languages, the increased quality and capabilities to push up devices vendors. It uses more, providing superb economic. It uses text. Some of the ones that are available, RoboCoke, Kip, Walnut, Ride Sharing, or by Taxi Bot, Shop 2 Bot, Concerning Desires, Haze. Okay, there's a, a bunch of bots available. Enterprise Chatbots. Chatbots play a major role in enterprise, both external and internal applications, such believe. Interest in enterprise and chatbots. The benefits of chatbots to enterprise are increasing rapidly, making dialogue less expensive. More consistent chatbots can interact with customers and business partners efficiently. AI has reached a stage in which chatbots can have increasingly engaging in human conversation, allow business levels. Chatbots are particularly well suited for mobile apps. Chatbox ecosystems are robust, encompassing many different third-party chats. Chatbots could be lucrative for messengers. Enterprise chatbox marketing and customer experience, as we saw in the opening vignette. To this chapter, we see it several examples later. Chatbots are very useful in providing marketing and customer service, obtaining sales, persuading customers to buy products and services, providing critical information. In addition to marketing, chat box are in areas such as finance and H human resources services, production allow for ease of use, improving the customer experience. Enterprise chat bots often improve customer experience by providing conversation platforms 24 seven, uh, when customers benefit from the system. Enterprise chatbots financial. The second area in which enterprise bots are active in financial services, banking found that most people in the United States will talk via chatbot by 2019 chatbots can be predictive and analytics and cognitive messaging systems to provide tasks such as payment, making a payment, they can inform. Service industry, healthcare chatbots are often active in healthcare industry, helping millions worldwide. Robot receptionists, several chatbots are chatty companions. Chatbots are used for telemedicine. Chatbots can connect in the education world. Chatbots use several information. A chatbot treats all students equally. Government, travel and hospitality are some of the other areas. Chatbots inside enterprises. So far we've seen chatbots that are working in the external side of enterprise, mostly customers, care, and marketing. Whoever lately started to use chatbots to automate tasks internal, help with project management, 
handle data entry, conduct scheduling, streamline payments with partners, advise the authorization of funds, monitor work and, wor and workers, analyze internal big data, find discontent, content, discontinued prices, simplify interaction. Virtual personal assistants. Marketing and sales have this uh, virtual and emergent type of chat box is the virtual personal assistant. A software agent helps improve their work, ass assist in decision making, and facilitate their life cycle. BPAs are basically extensions of intelligent software. BPAs are chat bots whose major objective is to help people better perform certain tasks. At this time, millions of people are using Siri with the Apple product, Google Assistant, and Amazon Alexa. These assistance knowledge bases are usually universal and they are maintained certainly in the cloud, which makes them economical for a large number of users. Users can get assistance and advice from the personal assistant. The first of these set of applications involves that. Assistant information. A major task of virtual personal assistance is to help users conduct a search by voice for information without the assistant. Users would need to surf the internet to find what's going on. Amazon's Alexa personal assistants they conduct considered to be the best. Alexa delivers Amazon compete with Apple Siri. It's cloud-based, answer questions in several domains, control smartphone operations, provide real-time weather reports, <laughs> control smartphone appliances, make to-do lists, arrange music and playbox, set alarms, play audio, control home automation devices, uh, analyze shopping lists, control car devices, deliver productive then shop for its user. Alexa has the ability to recognize different voices or provide it. Uh, Hail Uber. Let's see what else. Alexa, call Uber. Amazon's Echo, hands-free wireless speaker that's controlled by your voice. It's the hardware component of Alexa. So the two operate hand in hand. Echo is always listening. When Echo hears a question, command, or request, sends the audio to Alexa. Amazon dot and tap, these are different aspects of it. Apple Siri, short for speech interpretation and recognition interface, is an intelligent virtual personal assistant and a knowledge navigator. It's part of Apple's several operating system, can answer questions, make recommendations, and perform some of the actions by delegating the risk of the web. Siri can be integrated with Apple Siri Remote, Google Assistant, competition regarding virtual personal assistants, increases with improved capabilities of Google Assistant, which was developed as a competitor to Siri to fit Android smartphones. Apple and Google uh, competition. Apple and Google have provided their personal assistance to hundreds of millions of users. Uh, mobile devices. Microsoft equipped over 250 million PCs with their personal assistant. As indicated earlier, the knowledge of personal assistance is kept in the cloud. The reason is that the assistants are a commodity available to millions of users and need to provide dynamic, updated information. When knowledge base is centralized, its maintenance is performed in one place. This is in contrast with what we need. Implementation issues. On. 
technology issues, many chatbots, including uh, virtual personal assistants have imperfect voice recognition. There is no good feedback system yet for voice recognition systems to tell the user in real time how well it understands them. In addition, voice recognition system may not know when to do curtain to do currently tasks. Chat box that are internal to the organization need to compete, connect with NLPs. This is a big problem, but bigger one is because chat box are connected to the internet due to security issues and difficulty. Some chat box need to be multilingual. Disadvantage of bots, the following are points. Some bots <clears throat> write inferior performance, at least during their initial making users frustrated. Some bots do not properly represent their brand. The quality of AI based on bots used complex algorithms. Some bots are not convenient to use. Some bots operate in consistent manner. Enterprise bots pose this problem. Virtual systems are under attack. Cortana, Siri, Alexa, and Google Assistant are under attack by many who are enraged at the machines in general, just like you make fun of them in the case, bots administration. Quality, while the quality of the most systems is not perfect, it's improving over time. However, quality of those that retrieve information from users and are properly programmed can be perfect. Generally speaking, the more a company invests to acquire a release in chat box, the more accurate it will be. Quality, given the short time since the emergence of robo-advisors and financial services, it's difficult to access the quality. A major issue when engaging bots, the potential loss of human touch. It needs to build trust and users' complex questions so customers can understand the bots. In addition, Robobots advisory provide personal advice. Construction of bots. Uh, give it a unique name. Give it customer guidance. Experiment and figure out what's going on. Highlights. Chatbots can save organizations money. Expert systems with first commercial applied AI, ES transfers knowledge, expert systems to the, from experts to machines, classical expert systems use business rules to represent knowledge, the major components of the ES are knowledge acquisition. Types, robo, relatively new, personal assistants can retrieve voice commands, can understand and, recommend, and provide that. Recommendations today use AI technology to provide personalization. People can communicate. Chatbots also contain knowledge base and use the natural language interface. Personal personal assistants are native. VPA, Amazon, personal personal assistants such as Amazon Alexa uh, through a smart speaker. Apple uses Siri and there's Google Assistant. They all help to provide the customer the end need. Our homework this week, chapter 12, discussion questions one through three, and exercises in 112 and 16. Remember, this is through using APA style res uh, responses. It is written as a paper. So make sure you write it as a paper, please. The discussion question, examine Alexa's skill in ordering drinks from Starbucks. Again, discussion question is due by Wednesday night at 11.59. This allows you to, allows you and your classmates to respond. If you wait later in the week, it's harder for them to respond. So please make sure your responses are in by Wednesday night. It is very important because we do have such a small class. As usual, thank you for your time and efforts.